on our previous episode of Onboard Lifestyle. The crew backtracked to Altuco to meet up with friends. Fun was had as we enjoyed a week of good food and good times. We ended our trip with a fun day at a spectacular waterfall. Then back to basic to get our electrical geek on as the ladies upgraded our Battleborn battery bank because my dad re-injured his elbow. So let's pick up our story on the bus en route to the doctor. I saw the city passing by my window. Was in the crowd, but I felt so alone. Looked at my phone like every other second. My future was blurry and numb. A tunnel where there's no light. Oh, but then you came and sat right next to me. Your eyes, they glowed and filled me up. Okay, that was an hour, almost an hour bus ride. But it was fun. We're in downtown Tapachula looking for the hospital to get your ultrasound. Yeah, it's about four or five blocks from here, but I think and I want to go up here and walk by uh, my orthopedic uh, guy first and I'll show you where that's at. It's just right up here to the right, so. Okay. Here, we got the side for you. De aspecto similar normal, el flexor común de los dedos, junto con el nervio ubicado. to say that was a good experience I think. They were so nice. So nice. And they spent time, explained what was going on and I, I was amazed at the detail she could see in the ultrasound and she said basically that uh, my tendon is not torn now but it's still inflamed. Not and just inflamed, it's really She called inflamed. it a super inflammation. <laughs> so you gotta be to... super at something, you might as well be super That's at right. an extra inflammation. <laughs> So now it's a back on medications to get this inflammation down, and when the inflammation goes down, hopefully the pain goes down. Yeah, and what else happened that we found out? That you took the wrong medication. Well, that was not my fault. But we're on the right track now, and hopefully this will make things better. Okay, well let's head off to the pharmacy and get my medication. Lesson learned, always bring your wife. <laughs> because I ask questions. But you didn't want to go last time. That was not true. I know. Okay, I learned my lesson. And hopefully this will uh, all get better. It has to be because sailing with you with your arm at a commission is not that much fun. But hey, she said uh, I should be better in a couple months. Yeah. Here's hoping. I'm hoping. 
Here's Emma pumping up our dinghy every single day. That's the only way that it holds air. We're still trying to chase down the culprit, but I think that our dinghy is dying a slow death. On the bright side, it's good exercise. <laughs> Emma and I have been taking turns since uh, the captain still can't really do much work, so it's good for us. Well, okay, it's is, been a while since we've used the I was, dinghy. I was going to say, this is the first. It's good to use the outboard, actually. We haven't used it in a, a, yeah, a couple weeks. Yeah, I haven't practiced driving this in a bit, but... Oh, you'll be fine. We're going out with uh, four other boats. We're going to... Uh, just go tool around this area. We haven't uh, explored much here. So it was a nice semi overcast day. I was hoping it was the overcast. Yes. Well, I brought an umbrella for you just in case. <laughs> the sun is brutal, you guys. It's intense for sure. Get that dinghy pumped up. Just keep pumping. Keep that thing floating. Are these fishing boats? Yeah. Ooh, I wonder what fish? Is it tuna? Could be shrimp. Ooh, I want some shrimp. I haven't had shrimp in a long time. The estuary that feeds the Laguna Pampa El Cabildo is a narrow 3.1 nautical mile channel that is lined with the local fishing fleet's pongas. The residents were all smiles and waves as the odd looking flotilla of inflatable boats putted by. Our goal today was to make it to the halfway point to the Puerto Madero Bridge. That's where we were meeting up with another cruiser, Nika from White Spot Pirates and her dog Boga. Our plan was to turn our fleet around and then slowly work our way out of the estuary to the beachside restaurants for lunch. Except now, we have picked up a few hitchhikers. So we're gonna do something new, we're gonna raft up. Don't be using your arm. We have found ourselves a nice, somewhat nice beach. But they have cold beers and it's a place for us to hang out before heading back to the marina. So we have our good friend here who uh, need a little help. Where are we going? I don't know. Let's go, look. let's just get in the shade. Is everybody full? 
The sad thing is that we had a beautiful lunch, but look at this backdrop here. Oh. I know. I just, uh, it's really heartbreaking seeing all this garbage. We could stay here and pick up all this and it wouldn't even make a dent in it. I know. It just drifts right back in. So we're uh, giving Nika a toe back. Yeah. We'll give her a toe. You know, life is a little different here. We do not take garbage seriously, apparently. And as beautiful as this place is, it's just heartbreaking to see all this garbage just scattered out. And as much as we keep trying to pick up the garbage and putting it in the garbage can, they throw it right back into the ocean. <laughs> Look at our, our routine. Our routine, we always have to lately pump up our dinghy. Our dinghy is just on fumes. Running on fumes, baby. Go on, let's, floor, let's go. We are now in Marina Chiapas for a couple weeks now. Yeah. And we have made a decision that we are going to do something we have never done, which is stay put in one place uh, for hurricane season. Yeah, right now, hurricane season, we're right in the middle of it, and things are ramping up on the Pacific side, ramping up on the Atlantic side. And, you know, we made a, a decision as a family that this is probably the safest place to be. This marina is actually in a bit of a shadow. You know, you've got the Tawanapex just north of us and the Papagayos to the south of us. And it creates this this it's environment right yeah, here that, yeah. that historically has been yeah. really safe for hurricanes. And so we made a decision, and there's a lot of factors why we made this decision, but uh, traveling during hurricane season is not the safest thing to do. And we're looking out for our safety uh, first and foremost. Well, it just makes it uh, a little bit more stressful because uh, it's gonna be a different area because uh, we're in kind of a rainy area. Emma, get out of the rain. You're getting wet. There he goes, that much better? Whereas before we were up in in the Baja side, which is desert. So there is not just hurricanes that we have to contend with, there is also lightning. Right. So uh, It'll be different for yeah. us. Yeah, so uh, I'm not really looking forward to that. We really want to take our time going through this area from here to Panama. And so I don't want to have to rush it and dodge lightning. Uh, that's the scariest thing for uh, boats. Mm -hmm. Another factor is, is obviously now, now that we've got the yeah. results back again mm -hmm. on my my elbow uh, the prognosis is basically uh well you know we've been bad or teal's been battling his injury and going to the doctors and getting the same kind of diagnosis and same uh advice know, advice <laughs> yeah. and, and that is don't yeah. use it or use it but don't strain it uh, which is very difficult on a sailboat uh, because it's not that it's broken, it just, it's, uh, it's, it's painful, torn, it's and, painful, and he still uses it. So, um, he just needs time. He only needs yeah. time to heal, and, and Emma and I need a little break. <laughs> so, so this would be a perfect opportunity for me to just kind of get, uh, get a little better before we start sailing again. Yeah. Um, but there's some other interesting things that we could do here, too. I mean, think about the land travel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're, uh... We're right at the border of Mexico and, and Guatemala. Guatemala, so I'd like to do some land travel. We haven't done that, really. I mean, we've only gone on short excursions just because it's close to the boat, but now that we are in a marina, it's a I safe thought, place. Yeah, I thought maybe we would do some land travel. Yeah, this, this area this is area. rich in history, so we'll, we'll, we're already talking about exploring Chiapas and then uh, getting into Guatemala from here. Guatemala is 45 minutes away. I know, it's kind of crazy, right? So, so we're looking forward to some of that. Um, 
then you know this also gives us an opportunity to do some projects uh, yes. because you know we love our projects <laughs> yeah we'll get caught up more we'll hopefully caught up we'll see we'll uh, get some done um, but it'll be uh, a good just just a good stop I think because we all kind of need it we've been on the boat non-stop yep for right. a couple of years now yeah. and uh, it's just uh, I think the longest we've ever been at a place is what like a month and a half uh, but that was on the hard or it's always on the heart. Like. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Um, but this time we're going to be in the water. And bonus, it's also uh, hurricane season, right? So the marina actually gives a huge discount uh, for any boats that are here during this time. Yeah. So we are literally paying pennies uh, to stay here in a nice uh, and oh, safe it's, place. It's beautiful. Look at this it backdrop. It is a it's... really nice place. It's hot, but it's hot everywhere. And we'll, we'll, uh, we'll figure that end out. Yeah. So that's what we're going to do uh, for, um, I don't know. Until hurricane season ends, and then it's uh, looking for that weather window and heading south. Yeah. So this is going to be interesting. <laughs> Let's get comfortable. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, relax a little bit. Relax? <laughs> I mean, heal up a little bit. <laughs> we're going to heal, we're going to explore, and we're going to do projects. Yep. And that's going to be our life for, for a little bit. Until hurricane season is over. Thanks for watching this week's episode of Onboard Lifestyle. A huge thanks goes out to our patrons whose generous support fuels the production of our videos. Join our crew if you can. With hurricane season upon us and the captain's diagnosis, it was an easy call to sit tight for a bit. Don't worry, we'll still be putting out action-packed videos every week. So hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you won't miss next week's episode. See you then!